Yes. <laughs> but oh, uh, it means yes. Actually, no. Oh, I, I don't you, think. You think so? No. Why are you, why, why are you sigh when you say no? All my lovely students, welcome back to IELTS Chiang Bae. Today again, I'm with teacher Jeremy. Uh, would you mind introducing you again? Introducing you. For new, we we have a, uh, we have a lot of new subscribers, and they don't know you. So please. Okay, everyone. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is uh, Jeremy. Uh, I'm 50 years old, and uh, I'm from the UK. Uh, I've been teaching, uh, living, and working and teaching in Vietnam for the last five years. Nearly a decade. Well, half, not quite yet. Half of the decade. Yeah. Half of the decade already. You're wishing my life away. <laughs> no, but uh, he brings uh, so much value to so many listeners and have a lot of students uh, and change their life. So we really, really appreciate you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, yes. Uh, guess what we are talking about today? The topic that everyone loves talking about. What is this? Yeah, love. Love. <laughs> Why are you? Why you sigh when you say love? Uh, you, we say love or love. Love. Yeah, love. Love, yes. So we are talking about some love idioms, some love idioms, and some nice and useful collocations that you can use to describe your relationships and your love life. So the first one is... Uh, love at first sight. Have you, uh, have you ever experienced love at first sight? Um, yes. <laughs> but, uh, it means yes. Actually, no. Oh, I, I don't you, think. You think so? No, I... I... <laughs> I don't know. It's a it's a difficult one, right? Because mm. love at first sight for me, it, it wouldn't be. It would just be a crush, mm. because it's more about appearance. Mm. Because you don't know the personality. Uh, mm. So uh, I mean, if you if you've experienced it or you're still with uh, your partner, then maybe you're I would say one of the lucky ones, or it's an mm. exception. Exactly. Uh, but I think when you just see the appearance, it's more a crush mm. than love, right? Mm. So it seems like you don't believe in love at first sight. Um, the older I've got, no. Mm. When I'm younger, I think maybe you believe it mm. because it's more about the looks and the appearance. But mm. then when you get older and you have the experience, mm. then it's more about the personality and the heart. Mm. You know, from the inside out, right? Mm. Mm. Uh, the inner beauty. Yeah, I think so. Your personal character, not how you look. Mm. But uh, we are living. Uh, we are living in the society where everyone cares a lot about their appearance. Mm. Physical attractiveness is very important. So basically, love at first sight is that you strongly like someone immediately yeah. at the first time you meet them. You meet them. That's why we say love at first sight. So interesting phrase, huh? Mm. Okay. Number two, we have puppy love. Now, what is puppy love, Jeremy? And is it still uh, common? You think? Mm, maybe not so common. No. Mm, you said it's old fashioned uh, idiom, huh? Yeah, mm. yeah. So mm. it's just uh, like as it says, puppy love, right? Puppy is a you know, puppy, right? young dog, yeah. A young dog. So yeah, yeah it's just about lo young love, I guess. It's just the initial. Is it is the initial stage? Uh, here in here they say, uh, ro uh, puppy love is a romantic love that a young person feels for somebody else, which usually disappears when you're older. as the young person becomes yeah. older yeah. so it doesn't last long no same as mm. the puppy will grow into the dog right? ah, yeah, when the puppy becomes a dog <laughs> how long that is take uh, how long that is take for a puppy become a dog actually it takes quite a long time the so process it, of a puppy so yeah it's, <laughs> it's quite a long time but then you're a young person quite a long time too right right yeah true uh, that's not uh, that's not wrong yeah. uh, so uh, it reminds us the other word we say infatuation uh, what is that, Jeremy? Uh, a strong feeling, right? Strong feeling. Yeah, a strong feeling for but someone. Doesn't yeah. last long. <laughs> it just depends. <laughs> Everyone to their own, I guess. Right? So people often say, as the initial stage of the dating, it's just the infatuation. But after that, we will see whether it's the real love or not. Mm. And then, uh, similar with that, we have the word crush. 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 Uh, mm. Have a crush on somebody means. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, for me that would be like love at first sight. So it's just uh, so a, a temporary feeling, right? Temporary. Because it can only be temporary because 
once you get to know their personality, then it will change, you know what I mean? Whether you think they're right or wrong. So, I mean, you can have a lot of crushes, but it doesn't mean that you're going to fall in love with them or have a relationship with them. Have you ever um, have you ever had a crush, a strong crush on someone? Oh, yeah, I think that's just part of anybody, life. Right? Yeah, anybody, I, If you don't, I think that's just part of growing then up. Then you are a robot. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's... Uh, a singer or actor or actress mm. or anything mm. like that mm. you know when you're young you might you know have a crush on someone just mm. because you like them you know what mm. I mean mm. but then obviously in everyday life in mm. reality then I'm sure you, people get loads of crushes mm. it is the same with the word fancy like I really fancy him yeah same with crush yeah, we, we, same we would say crush. fancy in England quite fancy a bit now, yeah, yeah. In, uh, British English people say fancy mm. you fancy him you fancy her It's a very nice one. Uh, we also have have a this what is have a soft spot. Oh, soft spot. Have yeah. A soft spot yeah. for somebody. Yeah, soft spot for someone. Means. Um, is it the same with fancy? Not really. It just means you you uh, because having a soft spot for someone it doesn't mean that it can be a partner. I mean, it? it could be a friend, it could I be... I think it's romantic. Yeah, but it could be someone else. You might just have a soft spot because you might see the the good side of them or the inner side of them. You know, for some reason, just say if uh, you have a black sheep of the family right. and everyone says, oh, he's bad or she's bad and they're this, and then you might turn around and say, actually, I, I can see some some good, so I have a soft spot for them. Really? Yeah, oh. to take them under my wing and guide them a little bit or something like that. Take somebody under their wings? Yeah. Under your wing? Ming, ming, it means that you will uh, protect and guide, uh, and guide wing, them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And guide Is it under them. your arms, actually? Not your wing? Yeah, I know. But, but it's metaphorical. Just, yeah, yeah, metaphorical. Ah, interesting, because when I check the dictionary, they say have a soft spot for somebody means you feel that you like somebody very much much so I thought it's only romantic feelings yeah like someone but not necessarily uh, love right mm. you might just like someone mm, mm, yeah mm. the next one we have lovely Dovey lovely Dovey what is that Jeremy is this common or old-fashioned no uh, it's I guess it's quite common mm. uh, it just means that obviously you're in a relationship and you're quite touchy-feely mm. you know what mm. I mean touchy-feely Touchy-feely? You know, old hands, put your arm around your ah, partner, yeah. uh, kiss, pe kiss in public, ah, in public. Uh, mm. and do things like that. Just mm. lovey-dovey, you know, you have, still have a strong feeling. Because obviously when you're in a relationship, as we say in the UK, you you go through the honeymoon period. Ah, honeymoon period. And then when yeah. the honeymoon period is over, then it tests the resolve of how mm. strong your relationship is. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Right, that's very interesting. It's the same idea with pe people say public affection. Mm. Uh, in Asian culture, uh, public affection is considered as a taboo. Um, and because people are very shy and traditionally reserved, we don't tend to show our like uh, public affection, like uh, kiss someone, kiss uh, the person that we love. Or, um, but now it uh, becomes a common thing. Yeah, obviously, uh, it's definitely different in Asia to what it is in Western countries, without mm. a doubt. Mm. Yeah, without without a doubt. Mm -hmm. But now we are more open to that. Even we we are more open to that, but we're still very shy mm. when it comes to public affection or lovely dovey. Mm. So yeah, nice nice praise for you guys. The next one is head. Uh, yeah, head over heels in or love. head over heel in love. Yeah. Means. Yeah, that you have a very very strong feeling. Completely in love. Yeah. yeah. Completely in love. Yeah. It's the same with you are madly in love with someone. This is your head. And the heel is uh, the bottom yeah, of your body, of your so foot. it means you love everything from them. Mm. Uh, it reminds me of unconditional love. Is mm. it the same with unconditional love? Yeah, it would be the same. Head mm. over heels, like you said, from from head to toe. Mm, uh, head obviously, to mm. yeah, head, the heel is uh, the mm. back of your foot. Mm. So yeah, it means that you completely and love everything about them. Mm. Mm. Uh, you know, like it reminds me of a very, very famous song named "Truly, Madly, Deeply." Mm. Have you ever heard of that song? Yeah. <laughs> I said, you know, I knew that song because my teachers um, used to play this song a lot in the class, and that's why it imprinted mm. in my memory long wow, time ago. That's quite funny. Mm. Who who is the singer of that song? Savage Garden or yeah. something, right? Is Actually, it? yeah, they're my favorite band when I'm mm. growing up. Oh really? So I know that song mm. very very well. Wow. <laughs> that's very nice, man. That's it's, very. Yeah, uh, good also, song. it's the same with how deep is your love? Mm. How deep is your love? Uh, also, my favorite song. Mm. Very nice one. Actually, I'm glad you said Savage Garden because I'd have had to. Uh, 
correct my pronunciation. Yeah. No, 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 I actually forgot I'd have had to uh, That's actually what trigger I my brain a little bit and trigger fire it up. Mm. <laughs> right. Um, and also, it reminds me one of the very famous lines in the movie um, Pride and Prejudice. Do you know that movie? Mr. I Darcy. know the movie, but I can't Mr. remember. Mr. I, can't, I couldn't tell you about it. Jane Austen, the novel. I know you're in a Jane Austen too. And uh, Mr. Darcy said to Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth Bennet, uh, he said, I love you ardently. Ardently, very beautiful. I love Mr. Darcy. Finding Mr. Darcy in my life. <laughs> so, so, I love you ardently means I ardently. <laughs> yeah. I love you ardently means um, completely in love, oh, okay. yeah. madly in love, crazy okay. in love. You yeah. uh, caught me off guard then. <laughs> caught me off guard? What is this? Uh, I wasn't prepared. Ah, it's like put you on the on the spot. Also put me on the spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The next one, that's my favorite one that I share with Jeremy whenever we met is uh, whenever we meet is uh, you are the apple of my eye. Mm. A very I'm my eye or apple very of famous, someone's eye. Someone's eye. The very famous saying of six spears um, means. Uh, it can mean a few things, I guess. Really? Yeah. Mm. Uh, you actually, you say the apple of my eye could be uh, meaning your kids. Uh, is it romantic? Yeah, I know it's romantic, but not. I wouldn't say strongly in a loving way, like some of the other ones, right? You think so? Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, it means that obviously you have uh, truly care for them, right? Mm -mm. Yeah. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you're. I mean, with love, there's two. Mm. You know, for loving someone and then being in love with someone. Mm. Like you can't be in love with your parents. You True. can't be in love with your brother and sister. True. You can love them mm. because they're your parents, but mm. you can't be in love with them. Oh. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm. And that's why I think a lot of uh, relationships, for me, that's why they fail. You know mm. what I mean? Because you say that you love someone, and you do, but you might not be in love with them. You know what I mean? In in love, it's mean like fully committed. Yeah, head over fully, heels, right? Fully committed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fully committed and in love with them. You can't mm. be without them. Yeah. You know what I mean. But mm. you love your parents, but you can be without your parents because uh -huh. you, you love them. Uh, that's for me. Two no, no, different no, no. ones. Wait, wait, wait. Say again. So, you mean like the. <laughs> Like if you have a husband or a wife or a boyfriend or a girlfriend, yeah. you're, you're in love with them. Yeah, I'm yeah? in love with them. Yeah. I cannot live without no, them. No, they are head over heels for them. Yeah? But then, like if you uh, get divorced, mm. for instance, let's say you get divorced, mm. yeah? Mm. You're not in love with your wife or, or your husband anymore. Yes. Yeah? yeah? But you can still love them because they're the father or the mother of your children. If you know what I mean, you produce ah, them together. Okay, okay. So yeah. in in love is in love is mean in a relationship. Yeah, fully love, committed. Yeah, fully ah, committed, okay. and you know head over heels. Mm -hmm. But obviously love, you love your parents, but it's love in a different way. It's a different kind of love. Yeah. So that's why sometimes I feel like very stupid. Like uh, if a girl asks a, uh, a man, like, do you love me more or you love your mum more? That's like, it. It's two that's different ones. Stupid, stupid, yeah, you can't stupid you question. can't compare because the love is different. Mm. You you can't be in love with any of your family members, your siblings, mm. you know, even your distant relatives. You mm. cannot be. But obviously, you can be in love with, uh, you know, your husband, wife, boyfriend, mm. girlfriend, mm. Uh, fiance, mm. anything like that. Mm. The next one we have a match made in heaven. Mm. Have you ever heard of that? Yes. What is this? Uh, it means that they they have a lot in common in every way. Mm. Yeah, they they're good together. You know, from uh, the inside mm. and also from the outside. People mm. will say, "Oh, they're a match made in heaven." Look at them; mm. they have a lot in common. Mm. But also, uh, the inner family will say the same too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now it means like they are perfectly suit yeah, each perfectly other. Suited, yeah. uh, any famous celebrities that spring to your mind that you think they are match made in heaven? Uh, I cannot think of anything off the top of my head. I mm. think the famous couple I can think of is Ryan Reynolds. With, ah, Ryan Reynolds. With uh, his wife uh, Blake. Blake. They look like they look like. The match thing is, a lot of the actors and actresses that that are a match made in heaven that you would say is that you don't really know much about the other partner. Mm, like the famous actor, they they keep their. 
you know, their fame and their personal mm. things separate. Mm. But then you ask a lot of actors, for instance, uh, is it um, Pierce Brosnan? Mm. You know, the James Bond one. James Bond, yeah. James Bond 007. Yeah, mm. uh, his, uh, you never hear anything about his wife mm. because he keeps it completely separate. Mm. But they've been married for like over 30 years. Oh. Uh, and if you asked him, then he would say, I would never be where I am without her. Mm. Like she's my rock, she keeps me grounded. Uh, and everything else, you know what I mean? Mm. So, you know, the, those marriages tend to last, but then the marriages from, uh, you know, famous people uh, that are out in the limelight all the time, they, they tend not to last. A lot of it is just for show, it's just mm. for the public, you know mm. what I mean? Yeah, That's yeah, it. yeah, totally get it. Interesting because, so a match made in heaven, not only in terms of physical, uh, not only in terms of appearance, but also the inner. Yeah. Uh, how they have each other. Yeah. Oh, okay. The next one is absent makes the heart grow fonder. I love that saying so much. What is this? Uh, it just means that you're away from someone uh, yeah. for, well, it could be a short period, but main, mainly uh, a long period of time. Mm. Yeah, and it means the the affection for them and the love for them will uh, grow fonder. Yeah, get stronger. Right? Get stronger. Yeah. Uh, basically, when the people we love uh, are not with us. We love them even more. Yeah. Mm. So sometimes it means, I think that this thing means like sometimes we need to uh, to give space for each other so that we can start missing our uh, partner. That's what I mean. It's the same. You don't know what you have until you don't have it. Mm. You know, in, in mm. a lot of ways, not just love, but in other ways. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And then you realize. That's why I always say, don't judge a book by the cover. Not mm. what you see. It's what. The first impression, but the last an impression. Master of idioms. The moment he yeah. speaks to is the moment he throws to all kinds of idioms. <laughs> you can you practice makes perfect. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is love hate relationships. This one is so funny. What is that, Jam? Uh, yeah, you love certain things and you hate certain things. You know, but you then. You just mentioned Hanoi. <laughs> yeah, but there's a balance. There's you know, balance. so you meet in the middle. Mm. You, you know, you might love something for three or four things, mm. and then, you know, on the other hand, you might hate something, but mm. it just seems to work. Mm, mm, you know what I mean? Mm, mm. So, like, uh, can I say, that is also describe a romantic relationship. Yeah, a love hate relationship. You can have a love hate relationship with a lot uh, of things. I mean, you oh. can have a love hate relationship with the gym. You know, you love the gym, but then on other occasions you might hate it. It's too busy, you know, uh, things like that. Can we say to the love of our life, uh, that I have a love-hate relationship with him. Like sometimes I really love him, but sometimes I really hate him. Yeah, oh, yeah, because if you don't argue and everything's rosy, right, it's great, mm. but then not all relationships are perfect. Mm. And and to be honest, for me, I, I not that I encourage arguments, but I think it's actually good for a relationship. You know, you'll you're never going to agree on every single mm, thing. True, true. Not just in a relationship, but with your family members, with mm. people on the street. Yeah. Um, if everyone in life agreed with everyone else, it would be very boring, right? Mm. So, uh, yeah, you same with your partner. You're not going to agree on every single thing. Mm. But like, uh, obviously, it's you know, you have a love hate relationship, and you. You. The main thing is that you don't hold a grudge, mm. uh, and then uh, it's it, yeah, in one ear and out the other. You forget it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to put all the idioms to my head in one ear, uh, in uh, out, in, in in one ear, right the other? I like that one out. too. I, I love that one so much. Mm, it's yeah. the same with uh, out of the Worcester duck back mm. or. Water yeah. ops, a duck back. Yeah, water water. Ops, ducks back. So funny, my god. Yes, and the last one we have love of your life. You are the uh, the love of my life. Love of my life. Yeah, very famous song. Uh, you know Queen, I'm sure you know that. Uh, Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury. Very famous song, Love of My Life. Very touching. Mm. Uh, and um, just moved me a lot when I. I don't know anything about the Queen. I mean the, 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 the name of the band until mm. there's a movie about his life, mm. uh, Freddie Mercury, by um, a very famous actor, Ramik. Ah, Ramik. okay. Yeah, very good it? film. Yeah, very I've good. seen it. Oh, you saw it? Yeah, I've seen it because so nice. actually my parents, uh, uh, that's the, their favorite band mm. and he is uh, their favorite singer, both of them. Mm, Freddie yeah. Mercury, yeah. oh my God, and uh, just so enthusiastic and Love of My Life is a very nice song. So what is Love of My Life? Oh, it's the person you're with at the time that you can't be without, that, that you, you do anything most. for, yeah, mm. and whatever, that's, mm. yeah. Mm. Um, but then it might change if you get divorced or something. <laughs> but then again, it might not, you at know. At a certain time in our yeah, life. Like it, when you get married or you're mm. in a relationship, mm. like it, because you, you break up, it doesn't mean that 
uh, one of you is a bad person. You mm. know what I mean? You mm. can be married to someone and you might just, you know, have a mutual agreement that mm. you can't live together or mm. you don't see uh, being together in five years. Mm. You might drift apart, but it doesn't mean either of you are bad. Mm. You know what I mean? You could be, sometimes two good people just can't be together. That's, mm. just, that's mm. just life. Uh, the guy full of wisdom. Well, Love a uh, therapist. <laughs> Whenever I feel down in the dumps, uh, then Jeremy just uh, one call away, right? Yeah, you have to be positive. <laughs> positive. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one, I'm sure you guys love at the beginning state of uh, dating. We have butterflies in my stomach. Mm. Do you often use that? Uh, yeah, it could be for love, but it can also be for other things. Mm, it just mm. means that you're you're nervous about mm. uh, taking a test, uh, mm. meeting someone, mm. yeah, anything. So like before, let's say before you uh, you you meet him, like you have a strong crush on him, mm -hmm. and then you have butterfly in my uh, in your stomach, like oh I'm so excited and but nervous at the same time, yes. Uh, and love is in the air, means you are very. Yeah, it means that you you uh, you maybe uh, the dating phase is going one step mm. further, right? Like you are like um, always like in the air because you are at the beginning of the stage. You are still the honeymoon much period. honeymoon period. Yeah, honeymoon period. We have other similar saying like uh, about love, which is really nice. That I would love to, uh, you guys uh, know that. Uh, Jeremy, would you mind reading some? Love will. Love will find a way. Uh, and uh, love makes the world go round. Mm, it's been like with love, everything will be fine. Yeah. And then uh, we have two other terms to say tie the knot. What uh, is tie, tie the knot, the knot uh, is uh, get married. Get married. And then if we have. Uh, kiss and make up. Kiss and make up mean? uh, means that obviously after an argument, a disagreement mm. or mm. something like that, then uh, everything will be rosy. Everything will be rosy. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Kiss and make up. Yeah, so that's all about love today. Very long episode. And um, I just discovered that Jeremy has the potential to become a love therapist. I think you should open the love coach class and maybe people will. <laughs> Resistor. <laughs> okay, uh, one quick word as a man of uh, full of wisdom, do you have any advice for someone who are in love or um, are ready to love? What is the key thing to maintain a healthy relationship with our partner? <laughs> uh, communication. A lot of communication. Um, yeah, I would say that if you talk and there's a yeah communication because if you communicate whether there's a problem or everything, then you you put everything on the table. Don't mm. hold anything in, even mm. if you think that it will offend or upset them. It's better out right than in, mm. uh, and then you can talk about it. You mean like let off our chest? Yeah, yeah, just mm. yeah. So talk, mm. yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, be loyal, be honest. Mm. Uh, the main thing for me is be respectful mm. because without respect, then you lose everything else. Mm -hmm. I think. And uh, what do you think about the silent treatment that people often give to each other? Uh, yeah, I mean, silent treat. Some people get the it rattles them more, right? And some people, it, it, it rattles them. It, uh, they get a bee in their bonnet, right? So it annoys them more uh, when yeah. you have the silent treatment, but other ones, they, they prefer it. Mm. I mean, you know, if you have an argument, you want to let off steam, and mm. then you, steam. you're better just to go for a walk, go to the gym, just go outside and just uh, wind down, you know, take mm. yourself away from that uh, environment, mm. cool down, and come back, and then do it but it's easier said than done right easier said because than at done. the time then you know even even the best of us make mistakes <laughs> precisely uh, for those who don't know silent treatment is just you just don't talk to that person yeah, you don't talk deep. you just like completely silent and then you even vanish not like about ghosting but you just give a silent treatment you just don't talk you are sulky i tend to be sulky a lot but um now i'm not uh, anymore but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that is everything about love today. Uh, we hope to bring you a lot of joy, laughter and understand about love, how to maintain a healthy relationship. Most importantly, you can use those love idioms in all topics about relationship in IELTS speaking and even in your daily life. Thank you so much for staying tuned until the end of the video clip. As usual, make sure you guys give us a thumbs up and subscribe our channel. We are... Um, hoping to spread more value to more new subscribers on your learning English journey and also IELTS journey. We wish you the best of luck and all the best. Bye! Bye.
Okay. So love idioms. I'm I'm thinking of some phrases here, and then you tell me they are still common or not. Love at first sight, common, right? Mm. Puppy love. Puppy love, maybe not so much, but. Mm. Infatuation. <laughs> Come on. I know. Tongue twister. Tongue twister. Infa infatuation. Uh, crush. You say crush or crush? Crush. Sorry. Crush. 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 Okay. Have a have a soft have a soft spot for. Yeah, have a soft spot for uh, well, somebody or something. Right? Mm. Mm. Lovely, lovely Dovey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But old fashioned, right? Um. Yeah, it means that you're just touchy feely, right? Public affection. Mm. Touchy feely. You usually you're in a relationship then. Yeah. Yeah, you're not single, so mm. yeah. Head over heels in love. Truly, mad, madly, deeply in love. Those three little words. Those three little words. Hmm. It means I love you. Yeah, well, not much. No, okay, <laughs> delete that. The apple of my eye. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Mm. Yeah, it's quite old. Maybe not so common now. Not so common. But much made in heaven. Yes. Love is blind. Love is. Yes. <laughs> Why you have to think before you say yes? No, I'm just thinking. Mm. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Yes. Tell your wife that. <laughs> Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Love hate relationship. Yes. It's the example here is very interesting. He had a love hate relationship with London. <laughs> Both love and life. I think that sentence I can say to Hanoi. <laughs> Actually, uh, no, me too. I uh, I think it's true. I have a love, love hate, hate relationship with uh, with Hanoi. Hanoi. Uh, love of my life. Yes. The Queen, you know, Freddie Mercury. And then uh, butterflies in my stomach. Yes. Love is in the air. Yeah. Love somebody to the moon and back. Old, but it's okay. <laughs> Love wind finds a way. Mm, old as well. Love makes the world go round. <laughs> I guess. I guess, okay. But still makes sense, right? Yeah. Pop the question. No? Not so much now because it's changed okay. now. It's not right. very traditional now, right? Tie the knot. Yeah, tie the knot. Just get married. Kiss and make up. Yes. Ride or die. That's what a lot of people say. The best part of an argument is the kiss and make up. Yeah, the kiss and make up. <laughs> kiss and make up. Even some of my friends in England say we. I purposely argue with my wife because I know that when we kiss and make up, then it's good. <laughs> really? Yeah. Let's see. What is that? Like views over. Uh, a wide space? Very wide, yeah. like wide, wide space over and areas. Yeah. 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 It's a one, uh, if you use iPhone, uh, we have the panel, uh, panorama, panel, they have the uh, function, Cin cinematic. And I remember they have here panel, uh, okay. panel, like you can do uh, panorama, right? So like you can do the whole view. Uh, yeah, so like panoramic, yeah, just a wide, vast space, right? Vast space, very nice one. And then we have spectacular view. Instead of say beautiful view, you can say spectacular view, very nice one. And then we have um, stunning view. Stunning view. What is stunning view, Jeremy? Yeah, it just means stunning, mm. you know, beyond belief. Beyond belief, yeah, yeah beyond belief. We all, you can also say magnificent view. Magnificent. Usually we talk about mountains, right? Yeah, magnificent view, mm. mountains, yeah. Mm. Uh, or, uh, Jamie, just teach me the phrase, we say out of this world. Out of this world. So you can say the view, this view is out of this world. Just that you don't think it can happen, and you don't mm. think you'll see something like that, you know what I mean? Magnificent as well. Beautiful, yeah. gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous, stunning, uh, captivating, inspiring view. Uh, Jamie also say inspiring, inspiring view. What kind of view could be you describe for inspiring view? Uh, maybe it's a view that inspire you to do something, inspire you to paint. Mm. Like if you're True. you're True. an artist, mm. you might have a view that's very inspirational for your talent mm. uh, that you might want to paint. Mm. Or yeah, another inspiring view. May, you know, maybe it will clear your head and make you make a decision that you can't make. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. They also mentioned about it reminds me of Kabang. People mention a lot of Kabang or Hazang. Mm. Uh, in Kabang, we have the waterfall and inspire so many uh, poet, poets mm. uh, to come there and uh, create a poem mm. or they draw a painting because the scenery is just gorgeous. Yeah. 
Like uh, our Jamie say in Ningbing, we have breathtaking scenery uh, that you can use to describe for that topic. And you can only describe for the countryside. Uh, I'm sure that view, like in Ningbing, because they made the movie. Uh, ding dong, ding yeah. dong, ding so dong. I'm sure someone first seen that view and then it inspired them to make the movie there.